and welcome back to my channel. This is Gina B, Living Fully. And yes, I've been gone for a minute. Um, I, I went to Seattle to visit family. And on the way back, I looked for some Dollar Trees, but we were kind of in a hurry to get home. But I got home and I got back to work today at Transformational Wellness, where I do massage. And of course, I had to run by my Dollar Tree on the way home. I just wanted to put one up for you. So I found some really good things. By the way, if you're new and you like Dollar Tree hauls, I put them up every Sunday, sometimes midweek. Um, I try to do one a week. Sometimes I end up with two in a week. Um, but I would love to have you join my micro mini channel. I film just with a phone, no editing, and it's raw, but I, 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 think, I seem to think I find some pretty cool things. So please, please, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, uh, be, you know, um, part of this little tiny channel. Help me grow. And those of you who have recently subscribed and commented, I can't thank you enough. You are helping me grow anytime you comment. I, I really appreciate that. So with that being said, let's get started. I think I'm starting with a lot of food here uh, because we went to the grocery store, but you know how it is when you just like, the last thing you want to do is go grocery shopping when you've traveled that long in a car. So I waited until after work today and I got myself, these are phenomenal and I've hauled them way in the past, but these are Harvest and Lee Crunchy Rice Rolls zero cholesterol, low sodium, and gluten-free vegan snack. These are great for work. They give me a little sugar. There's only three grams of sugar here, by the way. And it's a little rice snack, so it's gluten-free. I absolutely love these. You get a lot to the pack. One of these with a banana and some nuts, and I can get to the next client, no problem. Excellent, excellent product. I am looking here to see if they tell you, you do get seven rolls. Now, when I got these in the past, I believe there were five rolls. So they increased per my experience. So yeah, Harvest and Lee crunchy rice rolls. Perfect for the vegan, low sugar, low sodium person, low cholesterol, no cholesterol, by the way. I got another Harry and David ground coffee because we're a little low and we forgot to pick that up at the grocery store when we got home. This is um, vanilla cream brulee. Oh, yeah. Vani okay, so let me just tell you, if you want to really, really impress somebody on a budget, okay, you're going to grab, and I will show you them later, but they are the little ginger snap cookies you can get at Dollar Tree, okay? You're going to get their little tub of Ben and Jerry's vanilla bean ice cream. They have the little tiny tubs at Dollar Tree. And you're going to bruise some of this up. And you're going to literally pour that over the ice cream, serve a little cookie and a little dollop of Cool Whip. Do you see the cattail? That's great. So anyway, that is a dessert you will absolutely love. Absolutely love. I promise you. Again, vanilla ice cream, the little Ben and Jerry's from Dollar Tree. Brew some of this up. Do a pour over. If you want to add some Cool Whip, add Cool Whip and some of uh, the little ginger snap cookies that they sell at Dollar Tree. It's a great dessert. I've had so many people go, oh my God, and thought that I had been at Whole Foods. So there you go. Harry and David coffee. Not just good for a morning coffee, it's great for a dessert. They had Worcestershire and soy sauce. Now, I don't use a whole lot of this. I do use little amounts for my soups, my salad dressings, okay, and for sauces. But I don't eat a lot of it on its own. There's a lot of sodium in soy sauce, so just a teeny amount, a little teaspoon for a recipe is great. It's wonderful if you're marinating. Um, so yeah, that's a big bottle of soy sauce and it is pantry basics, all purpose seasoning. Okay. Um, I have an idea for you. 
If um, this is also pantry basics, this is their version of Worcestershire sauce. If you put these two together, so I do a little half teaspoon of Worcestershire, half teaspoon of soy sauce, and then your olive oil, and you emulsify it, and it is a delightful dressing on top of your greens, I'm telling you, or a chopped salad. It is absolutely fantastic. You can also do that for your marinade. You would need more. And if you're really salt intolerant, I don't recommend using either of these products. But if you're okay and you're making a family meal and you want to marinate your meat, do equal parts of these, like a quarter cup, quarter cup, cup, and then your olive oil or whatever oil you're gonna cook your meat in, you're gonna emulsify that. So I run it through a blender or if you have one of those little whisks, you're gonna emulsify that and then put your product in there before you either bake or grill. It, it, will, it will turn out phenomenal, I promise you. So a wonderful food idea with these two sauces. And again, pantry basics, awesome. They had craft mayonnaise here and we were out. So I bought a little tiny amount for my husband. I don't really use a lot of mayonnaise. Um, I really am very finicky about um, cholesterol, intaking cholesterol, but um, it's real mayo made with cage-free eggs. So, you know, craft, I'll take it. I will take it. They also had, and by the way, this was in the $1.25 section, and my husband loves to make himself a good BLT. Um, so I found bacon. I got two of them for my hubby, $1.25. And it is Farmer John. It's a name brand, premium classic bacon. And I know it's the ultra thin slicing, which is perfect for sandwiches. And for him, that is a good alternative to like a burger or going fast food. You just cook these up, drain off the grease, let them dry out a little bit, and then they, I mean, you could crush it up, put it on top of salad, so you're getting a little protein and fat, but oh my God, my husband, he's loving that. It's a lot more at a grocery store, you guys, a lot more. All right, they have a new brand, and um, I just bought a couple of singles because this is going to be my little dinner tonight. And you can make the best little, I love to make little vegan bowls for myself after work. But tonight I'm going to go ahead and make a faux burger. This is an uncut um, plant-based burger by Solos, a single patty, plant-based patty. And it wasn't too high in sodium. It was like, it was under 200. And I'll, if you go beyond, if you do the beyond, that's close to 300. So if you can find one under 200, that's gonna be a good plant-based burger. Again, you can literally chop it up and you know saute it and put it in a really beautiful green bowl and make like a, you know, a, a vegan bowl for yourself, yeah. I got two because one for the hubby. He actually loved the plant-based burger. He likes the Beyond Burger, whatever I find. He'll he'll go for any of it. Um, and you know, I like I said, I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm pretty picky about cholesterol. Um, so to find a plant-based burger in a single is great, you know. Um, Bread and butter chips. Okay, you guys, this I thought was a great find. I've never found bread and butter chips at my Dollar Tree. They have dills, they have stackers, but this is by Breckenridge Farms. I believe that's a name brand. If you know about Breckenridge Farms or you've heard of them, let me know in the comments below and maybe how much you may have paid for their bread and butter chips. But I guarantee you, any Vlasic, any other grocery store with a name brand this large of a jar of bread and butter chips 
is going to pay a heck of a lot more than $1.25. And um, for $1.25, I'll take them. I like to take a little bit of this juice. Listen, a little bit of this juice with your olive oil, great on a salad. Chop up a few of these, put it on, on the top if you need a little zing. Um, I also add a little bit of this. I save all the juice and add it to my cabbage soup. Delicious, okay? Um, anyway, there's only seven carbs and 170 milligrams of sodium. So my golden rule is under, if I can keep it under 200 to 150, I think that's relatively safe. You just don't add any more salt, but my God, big jar of bread and butter chips. Also, this is a staple in one of the sauces my Nona made um, in her red sauces and my husband has now adopted um, how to make the red sauce with the olives in it. Yeah. And it was, believe it or not, not dark olives. It was pimentos because back in the day, you didn't have as the access to the fancy calamatas, but you did have these at every grocery store, right? You put them in a martini, the little pimento Spanish olives, right? Uh, this is also Breckenridge Farms, it is, and um, minced pimentos and Spanish green olives, and I'm telling you, you chop these up kind of fine and you add them to your marinara sauce, oh my God, and you don't need to add any sauce to your marinara if you're doing this because these are filled with salt, so um, there's only 20 calories, um, two grams of fat, um, zero trans fat, um, zero cholesterol, um, and zero sugars. And I'm looking for the, um, salt content, but I'm not, here's the sodium, 240 per serving. Oh my gosh. I don't, he, he is bombing us today. So this is, to loose the boots. This is to loose the boots. And he is my best friend besides my husband. And I adopted him. He's a little special. He never spent any time outside. So he has a little run. He gets to go outside in his doggy run and hang outside. But he doesn't hunt and he doesn't fight. Um, he would like to, but he doesn't know how to defend himself. And then he has a little pinhole up in his palate. So his meow sounds really different. Um, but what an angel pie this little boy is. Toulouse, say hello. Hello. And we call him Toulouse the Boots because he's got four boots. He's got two on the front and two long ones in the back. And this angel is why I wake up every day. Yes, he's my angel. He's my angel. So he says hello. All right, now you got to go. You got to go. <laughs> anyway, a new brand came in called Food Life Balanced. Nine grams of protein, 90 calories only, a premium chicken salad. Um, yes, it does have cholesterol, but if I'm only doing that maybe once a week, I'm okay. Um, this is fantastic. It's stuffed in a beautiful heirloom tomato. Um, you know, you just use your spices, a uh, little sour cream, and some chives, and you stuff that tomato. You can do it cold. If you want to melt cheese on top, pop it in the oven, and you've got yourself a beautiful little meal, okay? Very low in carbs if you're watching your carbs, okay? Excellent product. And it is high in sodium, but you just don't add salt, okay? 300, a little over 300 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot. But if you're splitting it in half and your partner's eating it and you're eating it and you're not adding salt, you're okay. But what a beautiful packaging. And you get a lot here. You can do a lot with that. I bet little Moo Moo here, Toulouse the Boots, would love to eat some of that. Not. <laughs> He's on a diet. And then, of course, we, we got a new brand of tuna fish at our Dollar Tree. 
which you see me haul that all the time. It's bumblebee, but this is Brunswick white albacore tuna in water. That's a really nice brand. So we picked one up to see if the hubby would like it. I know there's more food here, so I'm, I'm going to reach. Hold on. I'm going to reach. Ah, here we go. Here is more food. So we got our screaming deal. So even at my grocery store, these are so expensive, the little hot dog buns. And um, I love to make little uh, croutons out of these and, and put it on a salad, uh, what I don't use. But as you remember just a minute ago, I'm going to make a little burger out of my no meat plant-based burger. Um, but this is called Busy Baker, eight hamburger buns, zero trans fat. Now, this is carbohydrates, but they're so tiny, you could make awesome sliders with these. I mean, they say they're a hamburger size, but I would call that a large slider size. Very nice. Toast those up with some garlic and uh, butter or olive oil. Just do olive oil and salt, pepper, and uh, garlic, and that is a great great snack for your kids with a little bowl of spaghetti. Oh my God. Yes. My mom bought hamburger buns to make those kind of crouton type accoutrement to our pasta. She would make those into garlic bread. And oh, do I have fond memories of that. So remember I was talking about the dessert, right? That I make with this Harry and David coffee, Harry and David. Uh, here are, these cookies have been available. I used to only get cookies like this at Trader Joe's and they are now through the roof. So I continue to buy them, but I only buy them at the Dollar Tree because they're freaking amazing. And when you pour coffee over them, <laughs> oh my God. So scoop of Ben and Jerry's from Dollar Tree place two cookies, pour the Harry and David coffee over the top and a little dollop of, you know, fat-free Cool Whip, whatever. Oh my God. It's an affogato on steroids. <laughs> it is so good. And it's, it's, you know, no artificial uh, flavors, no preservatives, no artificial colors, no high fructose corn syrup. Um, and yes, it's a sugar, but it's pretty friendly. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty friendly. It's got a total of nine grams of sugar per serving, which I think would be five cookies. Well, you're only using two cookies. So that's a friendly dessert if you're watching it. But oh my God, yeah. True blue ginger snap cookies. Amazing. Okay, we needed these oh, Ziploc bags. Why get them for three and five dollars when you can get them for a dollar twenty-five? And yes, the count is the same at my grocery store. I think it's 15. They're saying 13. I'll take it. I'll take it. A completely unsweetened applesauce. Great for your kids. Great for me as a sugar alternative in my oatmeal. And that's what I use. And then I put a half a banana in it or some real sliced apples and some almonds. And that's a real... That's a real breakfast for me. But yeah, these are by Apple Snacks. And at my grocery store, it is Mott's, but it's twice as much. And the ingredients are any different. So I will take that all day long. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes and yes. Hold on, I'm reaching again. Now, I think I'm into some other types of things. So... I needed a couple of, um, yes, I'm a hot mess because I just came from work, but I am rocking these awesome earrings. Yes. Um, do you see how they match? They kind of match the little energy here. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. I needed um, to replace a couple of pillowcases I like to bring to work. We put them on the face cradles. Uh, I use them also 
uh, for the little pillow that I put under their knees when I work on them. I loved this color. It matches the room at the wellness center. Look at that beautiful blue. So if you're in the market for just a couple of pillowcases, oh my gosh, these are silky. When these wash, they do lose a little hint of color. So what I do is you add a little vinegar to your rinse or just add it into the wash and that's going to set the color. But these get very silky, very soft. And for $1.25, they last about six months to eight months. And then I toss them and buy new ones. But I absolutely love them. And you know why I love them? Is because when you do massage, you get a lot of product. Or if you're in the day spa business, you get a lot of product on there. It's really difficult to get it out. Why would I spend so much money on 100% cotton? You know, I yeah, for my sheets maybe, but for these little doodads that I use on the side, these are perfect. And they launder up really well. And I'm telling you, this color is phenomenal. I mean, you can do a lot with this. You could even make little throw pillows out of this. Yeah, that is a really nice pillowcase. And this is a Dollar Tree brand, um, uh, the home collection. And I've never seen this kind of blue before. I've seen other blues, but this is beautiful. This is not just a navy blue. There's something else going on in here. There's, there's a little midnight in it. There's midnight, and I just love that. So I will launder these up and use these for work all day long. Love it. Great find. Okay. I've been screaming about these are awesome. These get product out of my massage linen so well. One of these, my powder mixture I use, and a touch of Dawn. A little bit of vinegar if I need extra. But these are doing better than the expensive ones at the grocery store. It is called uh, Dryer Soft Ultra Laundry Packs Platinum Laundry Packs. It says fresh scent. What I like about it, what's different than a grocery store brand, is the grocery store brand tends to over scent them. And you never want over scented laundry when you're doing massage. People want to smell the essential oils. They don't want to smell the laundry stuff. Um, and of course, because of allergies. These are perfect. And you get 10 per pack. So for $2.50, I get 20. I'll take them. A lot cheaper. They're like 15 bucks, those laundry packs. It's unbelievable at my grocery store. Okay, so I have to... When I came back, I went back to my dance class. I hadn't been in a while. I knew they were rehearsing, but I said, oh, can I come? I just wanted to wiggle because I had been sitting in the car for so long. And um, yes, I'm an old belly dancer. Um, proud of it. Hadn't danced in months. I mean, I with my job change and everything, I really didn't have time to go to dance class. Well, I was able to go. I thought, oh, I could pick it up a little bit. Um, I got there and they're like, oh, we need another performer for this weekend. So who got roped into performing? This girl. And I need to dude up my little bedla, my bra and belt that goes with the whole costume. And so they, on a discount, instead of me using individual stuff that costs a fortune, I found this ribbon with wire in it. This is going to really help me. It's going to um, border the bra. It, it needs a refresh. So I'm going to do that tonight. And then I just saw this red ribbon. I thought I could use that somewhere. Maybe I could braid it and use it in my hairline. Yeah. Um, this is really pretty stuff, you guys. This is very lightweight. It's great for wrapping, but because it's a um, Georgette material, you can actually line or, you know, case around something really, really well. So, got that. And then I got some sparklies. So, black, white, silver, and red are my colors. And so, they have these really beautiful um, charcoal gray, black, and clear. Okay. And all you do is use real crafter's glue 
to um, adhere them. Uh, if I don't use all of these on the bra and belt, some will go in a headband. And um, they had tacky glue. Tacky glue. Very expensive stuff. And even though it's in a smaller bottle for $1.25, I'll take it all day long. All you do is snip the top. And see, you just snip that right there. But that is a name brand craft in the crafter square section um, craft item and I'm telling you this will adhere those little doodads very well I don't use hot glue on costuming because it pops right off this will adhere very well uh, they also had a clear craft glue that I'm going to experiment with so they had that and of course, they had these little doodads as well. All Crafters Square items, $1.25, rather than me going to Hobby Lobby and spending a fortune to repair my costume, I got everything very reasonable. I think everything for like six, seven dollars. So, yay! Another awesome laundry brand, guys. All right, I featured the last haul, I believe. Um, a non-name brand, really good quality, wonderful smelling dryer sheet. I found French lavender and oh my God, it smells so good. But it reminds me of the, I think it's called Complete Brand. Um, it's kind of like a knockoff and oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. Pick this up if you see it, run to your Dollar Tree in the laundry section and look for these. They also have some sort of bouquet, and I'm telling you, they both smell great. They're not overdone. They're perfect, and they work. They do eliminate, eliminate static clean. Yeah. Oh, this smells so good. I should have bought two. Oh, my. So good. And then this is added to my powder. This is the Totally Awesome brand. Um, it is oxygen orange. You can put it in laundry. You can add it to scrubs. Um, it, it's an alternative to bleach. I love it. And I add that to my powdered laundry mix that I use on my massage linens. And it busts out all of the grease. So I hadn't seen it in a while. And they've been stocking it. So I grabbed that. And... Um, I grabbed more baking soda because I add baking soda to my little mix. So baking soda, a very low grade laundry detergent. I think I, I buy it for like a buck. Um, sometimes it's at my grocery store for a dollar seventy five, and it's it's in this plastic bag and it's completely biodegradable. It's excellent for massage linens, and then I just add a whole thing of this. And when I can find it, I add this whole thing. So then I have this big jar. Really works on tough stains, grease, or massage oils. Um, and then I found Ultra Ajax Bleach Alternative. Um, excellent for removing stains in your laundry, believe it or not. Put a little dollop on the dot. It comes right out. I add this to my massage linen wash. What I do is I do about a teaspoon or a little scoopful at the very end, and then I hit the button. Um, it really is good on tough grease, but if you're doing dishes by hand, yes and yes. Really good. Ajax brand. That's a name brand. Um, okay. I found another cool household item, and I fell in love with it because... I know that I'll be able to hang this up in my closet and get some of the shoes off of the ground. I had a hiccup. Um, you can put eight pairs of shoes in this closet essentials. See that? See that? It has eight little envelopes. Now you can use this for so many things like in your office, your kid's craft room, whatever. But I'm using it actually for my shoes in my closet. I have a micro closet in this tiny home. Um, but I managed to fit everything in really, really well and it looks good. 
my shoe situation on the bottom is getting a little funky fresh. So I'm going to elevate it, get it off the ground, and hang it in the closet. And I got two of them. If I don't use both, I'll use this for um, uh, my husband's closet. I know he can use it for his shoes. Okay. I found, we found these diabetic socks. And my husband loves to wear his little boot shoes. And most men's socks just really cramp his ankles. So I found these for him. He's going to give these a try. But yeah, diabetic socks at my CVS and... Um, other stores, uh, Walmart, are very expensive. So for $1.25, I'm grabbing them, and they've got beautiful stretch. Now, I also highly recommend these for massage patients, massage clients, if you will. If you have really dry, cracked feet in the summer, and you need to put a little you know, um, healing balm on them, I recommend using um, any basic mixture of um, obviously a vegan based uh, Vaseline type product with your lotion after a shower and put these on your feet and your feet will look so much better they'll feel better and there's a touch of compression that will give your um, lower calves just that nice massage feeling while you sleep so these are really nice, really, really nice. Um, I got a wish list item. I got a wish list item. Here we go. The Goalie Bites Multivitamin. I grabbed two because they had too many. So I grabbed two. Oh my God. I found them. I found them. You get... Um, How many I think the count is by the way these are only 25 calories um, you get 50 per little jar oh my gosh these you guys just go online and look them up they're worth a lot more than a dollar 25 but yeah these are goalie bites they're multivitamin vitamins and um, overall health and well-being, healthy immune system, and um, muscular and bone health. Um, it looks like almost like a little peanut butter cup. So you know they're going to taste good. And uh, they're filled with, filled with vitamins. It's a good supplement on the go. Um, and these are very expensive, so I highly recommend you run down to Dollar Tree and grab them there versus buying them online or buying them somewhere where there are a lot more. So grab them. This is a really high respected name brand. Yes and yes. Wishless item. I was so excited about that. Um, oh. Really quick, last food item. Look at this huge thing of ketchup. My husband loves uh, to mix a lot of things, you know, when he's cooking and grilling and all of that. So I got him one of those. Um, but I found more of this. They were running low, and I featured this before. But this is a very expensive Colgate Optic White, even though it's almost like... It's like smaller than I get at the grocery store. It's a heck of a lot less financially. So um, we grabbed it. Uh, they are running low. They had a bunch and I was getting it on a regular basis. And then I noticed it was, and I didn't want to take, there was only three left. So if you are a Dollar Tree shopper, look for these because these are really high up on the list as the best toothpaste and um, very expensive at Walmart, Target, what have you. Um, excellent stain fighter and really healthy for your teeth and gums. Uh, Colgate brand, you can't beat it for $1.25. Um, I found another one of these. I was so happy with the last t-shirt that I got. You talk about stretch and uh, I sleep 
in mind, but I also love the big off the shoulder in the summertime. This is fantastic with a little sports bra underneath in the summer. It's great um, just under a little jean jacket at night. Uh, so stylish looking and it's uh, called the Neff brand and it's a large. It's made in Guatemala, 100% cotton. And I tell you, it wears really well. It looks great on the female body. It really does. It really hugs in the right way. Um, I tend to get them looser because I love that shoulder to go off with the little colored sports bra underneath. What a great way to work out. Really lightweight, dries like that. Great find. Okay, because I'm performing this weekend, as I mentioned, belly dancing in my in my little troop uh, we are we are uh, requested to wear fake eyelashes I found the most gorgeous these are called bloom wispy cat eye spiky short curly lashes look at the packaging look how beautiful if you're doing a little care package for your kid who's starting out with makeup and they want to play um, or just a young adult that's on a budget, if you're on the hunt for good quality eyelashes, these Ionis are awesome. They are awesome for $1.25, yes. Excellent. Um, they're 3D faux mink. Sometimes I find real mink lashes there too. Um, and then Ioni had this everlasting lash glue. So I purchased that to make sure I could adhere them. And so for $2.50 versus going to, you know, one of those expensive makeup stores, I got them. And let me tell you, I've worn Ioni before. These are the biggest ones I've ever bought, but I'm going for it because, you know, the old gal loves to dress up when she gets to dance once in a while. There you have it. That is everything I got at the Dollar Tree, you guys. I'm so glad to be back and if you're new and you like the content, please, please help me grow. And um, you can come say goodbye to Toulouse. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, I had to grab him by his little... Uh, he was photobombing earlier. But Toulouse says, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I will be back hopefully Sunday. I know it's Father's Day. If not, I'll be back like Monday or Tuesday. But... With that being said, thank you to all my subscribers and thank you for being patient for me to put up a new Dollar Tree haul. And thank you if you're new for watching and I would be so appreciative if you would subscribe. Say goodbye to Luz. Goodbye. Oh, he's such a good boy. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.